Hi, I'm Jeff Thomas. This is my Aston Villa Nightmare 11. In goal, number one, Nigel Spink. Um, a character that I actually met on an England B, but is a, a big goalkeeper, massive stature. Great lad, I would imagine a great team guy and um, difficult to beat. Two right backs um, for Aston Villa, different reasons. First one, Chris Price, because Chris, I remember at Hereford, he was starting out his career and got a massive move to uh, Villa Park. And then there's Kevin Gage, who Crystal Palace at the time, he was playing for Wimbledon and we shared the ground for a number of years. And a uh, tough old character, crazy gang member. Probably out the two, I'd have to go for Kevin Gage. Tough, tough guy. Left back, Stevie Staunton. Again, probably not for um, what he's done in a, a Villa shirt against Crystal Palace, but uh, Stevie Staunton at uh, Villa Park was wearing the, the colours of Liverpool. They just beat us 9-0 earlier in that season. We were playing them in the FA Cup semi-final. And um, actually he got a penalty where he, he fell over and died, I think. <laughs> but then uh, we came out winners 4-3. Great memories. Two huge characters as centre-backs. Um, first, Sean Teal, absolutely colossal figure and um, never stopped trying, um, really pushing the side all the time. And then the other guy, I'm sure everybody who's asked a question who the best centre-half you played against, it's um, McGrath. He's, uh, I don't know, a character who you, you hear that he didn't need to train. And, but imagine if he could train 100% every day, he would have been one of the best players in the world. He wasn't far off that anyway. Great play. Two wingers. There was uh, a guy I actually played with in, in, in Wolves colours, uh, Tony Daly. Absolutely, the, probably one of the quickest guys I saw on a, on a football pitch. Thankfully, he couldn't cross a ball. <laughs> but uh, the occasionally he got uh, a good one in and, uh, you know, a great character and a good player. On the other side, Paul Birch. Sadly, he's, you know, he's, he passed away and he was a, a massive loss to, to football. He, again, I played for at Wolves, but played against him a number, number of times in a Villa shirt. He was a, a character, chirpy, never stopped um, making jokes and uh, taking the mix, especially when they were winning. So lovely, lovely guy as well. Centre mid was probably the perfect combination if you're playing in a 4-4-2. You had the, the legs and the goal scoring ability of David Platt. I started my career at Crew Alexandra really and Platty was there at the same time. I went to Crystal Palace. He went to Villa Park. Um, I went for 50 grand, he went for 75 grand. And he was always a step ahead of me and uh, always a step ahead with the goals he scored. Um, the other side in the midfield, Sid Cowens, a quality player, top, top player. Coming to the end of his career as well, I played also at Wolves. Seems like everybody went to Wolves from Villa. Um, but he was uh, both feet, he, he could really dominate a game with just his, his brain and uh, great play. The first centre forward I'm going to pick because I played against him a number of times in a Villa shirt but also uh, he came to Crystal Palace, um, Gary Thompson. A total uh, force up front. He, <laughs> he was the uh, guy who could sort of chop a full back in half. He used to run out from the centre and Apart from goal scoring being a threat in the box, he was a definite threat to any fullback, both sides. The other being a tough decision because there's so many. I think I'm going to choose Dwight York. I actually played against Dwight when he was playing for Trinidad. Where Crystal Palace had just won the FA won the FA Cup. I wish we had just won the FA Cup. We just played the FA Cup against Man United and went for a three-week trip out to the West Indies. And one of those games was against Trinidad and I think Dwight scored four. I think we had a hangover. 